Hey, crypto family, hope y'all been doing good wherever you're at. So it's nice to see a lot of our large cap coins doing great today. Um, for the longest time, we had a lot of smaller medium cap coins, and now we have a lot of larger caps actually leading a lot of the rallies today. XRP is one of the big one, um, up 26% to nearly 90 cents today. And then again, a lot of the other coins doing really good now. A big one is OGN, which is a coin I made a video about yesterday, and that coin's actually been doing amazing today. If you look, it's up 36% to $2.59, so that's actually one of our leaders today. Um, that was great. We had a nice little gain from last video, and one of the big reasons for that is actually, you can see, um, so you already know that you know Lupe Fiasco is going to release his first NFT there, but right now it's getting close to that date, so Monday, April 12th, you know, we have six more days, so definitely one thing to keep in mind there. Um, and then, but you know, really it's just, you know, there wasn't any big announcements recently. So it's so great to see that, you know, they're going up and I'm pretty sure this is a big reason why is because we're getting closer to this date. So definitely keep an eye on that as we get closer. And then again, another one I'm looking at Red Fox Labs, um, definitely this one, think this one could go a lot higher. And one of the reasons for that, as you can see, one of the uh, co-founders or CEO of Red Fox Labs, Bitcoin Benny, he actually tweeted out uh, an hour ago. He says, all right, need to wake you out of your chocolate-induced comas. What are you looking forward to in the coming weeks for our Fox? And he mentioned farming and staking, CEX listings, seeing the virtual space, and being on Binance Smart Chain. So uh, that's really cool because it sounds like all of these options are coming to fruition within the next couple of weeks, which, as you know, if that happens, then the coin is going to pop even more than it already has. So uh, definitely our Fox one to keep in mind. And then again, Nerve Finance. This one's been steady right now at 290. Um, a lot of big players behind this coin. It's still ranked 358. So um, it's a stable AMM platform, um, basically for stable swaps. And you can actually stake and have, they have some liquidity pools on there, um, different BNB pairs. And I think Nerve Finance is going to be a really big one as well. Expect this one to continue to do well in the future. So definitely keep an eye on that one. And then also FTT, um, this coin's been doing great. Again, the FTX exchange, if you're bullish on that, and DeFi like Solana and Serum and FIDA and Radium, then definitely invest in FTT. Um, I think it could definitely be the next BNB token. So uh, the CEO is doing great and they're just continuing to update their exchange and continue to provide services for different platforms and partner with different platforms. So it's so great to see and definitely see a lot of potential for this coin um, in the further, uh, further months. So with that, let's go over some BTC and ETH technical analysis. So looking over BTC on the four hour here, we can see that um, you know it came down to the support on the four hour at 57,100. Uh, the MFI Pro also was oversold, and then the RSI you know was just below that 50 level, and the MACD was down in the red as well, turning over to the salmon color. So we did see some upside, and now we can see the signal line actually crossed over, which is very bullish. Um, and right now it's looking like we can potentially test this resistance of $60,000. So the 60,000 is definitely, you can see how many times we touched it, you know, one, two, three, four, I mean, five. So it's definitely, you know, looking for this to break pretty soon and then go and retest the new highs of 61,500. So um, looking at the money flow, I mean, you know, it could still curve to the upside, has some room here. Our size just now curving up. And then again, the MACD just crossed over. So if this can continue, definitely looking for some strong action to break through the $60,000 resistance. Next, looking at Ethereum here. So for Ethereum, you can see right now that we have been riding this trend line on the four hour. It's bounced one, two, three times. And um, right now we are getting constricted here. It's at that resistance of 2140. So definitely looking like it wants to break this. You can see right here, the four hour uh, money flow is crossed over that signal line to the upside now. You have the RSI starting to curve over. And then right now you have the MACD. So the MACD is really, really close to crossing over right here. So this crosses over again, I can see that as the momentum that we need to break through this resistance and go for new all-time highs. So a lot of people are looking at Ethereum right now, looking forward to test new all-time highs. Um, I definitely think it is a strong possibility, so we'll have to see what happens. Um, if it does end up breaking down and breaking down through this trend line here, that can definitely see us retesting the support of $2,000. And if it breaks that, looking further here at 1860. So potentially some good limit buys if you do want to uh, buy Ethereum a little bit lower here. But of course, not financial advice, just my opinion. So with that, if y'all enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment if you have any questions, and please subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, see ya.